I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Using the gospel instead of the law. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get our app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Did you hear anything? Get our app. It's on Amazon, Google, and iTunes, right on your phone. And donate your tax deductible gift given there helps keep us a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. We need your gift in these dark times. All right, Philemon, today, Barnabas tomorrow, because of this or accordingly, and, and Dio means um, everything that went before, and what went before was in the video over there about how Philemon's faith in Jesus and love for the saints enlivened um, all the, the church to good works. He built everybody up. So because of this, because of your great faith and love, um, although I am, uh, I have boldness, having boldness in Christo, and not just some boldness, but lots of boldness, much boldness in Christ, uh, to um, epitasein, that's um, epitasso, to order, to command, to law you, to do what is required or what is fitting because of love. Dia plus the accusative is because of, because of love. Um, malon, is rather or instead, because of love, I would like rather to appeal to you. I, Paul, being an old man and now prisoner in chains of Christ Jesus. So before we figure out what's going on with, and that's next week, what Paul is actually after. It's, it's good to stop here and just understand what he can do. He's, at a, pa he's a pastor. Um, Onesimus was taught by him, one of his confirmands, one of his catechumens, one of his former parishioners. And he could command him to do what is right, whatever that right thing is. Like parents can command their children to do things. Like teachers can command their students to do things. Like older brothers could command their younger brothers to do things. But Paul doesn't do that. Even though he has all the ability to, to command Philemon to do what he says is fitting, and that con, it says because of love. He would prefer to simply ask him to power their relationship, not by rules and commands and laws, do this and live, don't do and die, but rather to beg him for the sake of Christ to do what is necessary. And we don't even know what is necessary yet. That's next week. Think how revolutionary this is. Rather than command and make a rule and require, Paul doesn't do that. And that's not to say they're not a place for rules and regulations. There is. Companies have procedures and policies in order to do what they need to do in a swift manner. But when people deal with each other, when Christians deal with each other, what about simply asking for the sake of the gospel? Well, they might say no. Well, that's true. And you might force them to do what you want by means of the guilt or the law or requirements. But why? Look, 
here's a here's a thing. Young people, parents can command you to clean their your room. They can order you to do it. Come in at a certain time. Do this. Because I say so. But what they would much prefer is for the house to be run, their house to be run in the way of the gospel. That you know and you love them and you do what they would, what you know they want you to do. Come in at a sensible time. Meet the expectations of what a clean house is. Instead of it being run by requirement and law and force and punishment, they don't want you to do good because you're going to be punished. They want you to do good because they love them. And pastors and the Lord Jesus and the apostle could command you to do something. And sometimes they do. But they would much rather things be run because you love Jesus. Can you imagine a world in which things were done, good works were done, not because we had to do them to be saved, but because we are saved, because Jesus died and rose again. I want you to think about this, especially with what's coming in the next few weeks on these on the, in Philemon. God wants to deal with you by means of the gospel. He wants you good works to flow from you. He'll teach you how to do those good works, but he doesn't want to do you to do them because you're required to, like you're doing God a favor, like he's going to get you if you don't. He wants you to do good things because a good tree bears good fruit. He wants you to do good works because you are saved, not to be saved. Think about it. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Thor. And this has been another Higher Things video short.